Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time that I haven't posted anything, but there have been a lot of ups and downs going on in my life. So I wasn't in the right place of mind to make a video. But hopefully, inshallah, it's all over now and I'm going to continue making my videos for you. And today I've bought another simple recipe. And what we're going to start off with is I've got some chicken mince here. And I'm going to add this to a pan that's been heating with a one tablespoon of oil. So I'm just going to add all the mince in there. Just put it on a high heat. And I'm going to cook this mince, mince until it's nice and translucent. That will take about five minutes. And then we'll continue on with the recipe. As you can see, all the meat has turned nice and white now, and there's quite a lot of liquid in there. We're just gonna break up the mince so it's not in big chunks. To this mince now, we're gonna add two medium-sized finely chopped onions that will go in there now. Add all the onions in there. Now we're gonna cook the onions and the mince until all the water has dried up and then we'll add the spices to this. I've just turn the gas on a low and I'm gonna add the next ingredient. That one is garlic powder and I've got some chili powder and cayenne powder. I'm gonna add that into the kima. Guys, if I make any mistakes in this video, please forgive me because it's been such a long time that I haven't made a video and it's a bit overwhelming at the moment. But hopefully everything will be fine when I start making more videos. Next I've got cumin powder and some black pepper powder as well. I'm going to add that in. Give it a good old mix. Just let these ingredients cook together for about a minute or so. Here I've got some mixed herbs and salt that will go in there now as well. The guys, the salt and the chili, you can just put as much or as little as you like. It's totally up to you. This is just a rough guide that I use for my family that I tell you. And, but it's totally up to you. You could taste the mince when it's cooked. And then if you want to add any extra stuff, you can. So I'm gonna let this cook for about a couple of minutes. And then I'll show you how he looks. The mince is completely cooked now guys, as you see. All the water is dried up and the spices are nice and mixed. I'm going to turn the gas off and put a lid on it and put this on a, the other side. And we're going to go to the next part of the recipe. For the next part of the recipe, we need these mini white tortilla wraps. And also I've made this paste with two tablespoons of flour and some water, as you can see. It's nice and thick paste. And also, I'm heating the oil up now because I'm going to fry them tortilla wraps in here. So I'm going to just heat the oil on a medium until it's nice and hot, but not too scalding hot. And let's make the tortilla corns. So we get one tortilla and just as you're making a corn, as you see, so it's like just fold it in. But what I'm gonna do is use this paste to hold the corn in place. So when we fry it, it doesn't open up. So I'm just gonna make the corn again. Nice and simple, as you can see. If there's a, a tiny bit little hole in there at the bottom, it doesn't matter. We'll deal with that when we fill it in. As you can see, I made one. It won't open when I fry this. I'm gonna make the rest of them and then we're gonna fry these. Here you go, guys. I made the five corns now. And what I'm gonna do is just press it before you put it into the oil. I've got the oil on a medium heat now. 
I don't want it too hot because it'll burn the wrap and it won't go crispy. So I'm gonna add that. Be careful. As you can see, it's lightly bubbling, so that's fine. You don't need it hot, hotter than that. So I'm just gonna add two at a time. I don't wanna add too many together, then they won't cook properly. Guys, as you can see, these are bubbling up a bit. So just with a knife, just pierce it and it'll stop the bubbles forming. And we'll just fry it. Guys, quickly, I'm just going to share something with you. As you can see, I made these and they just puffed up so much. For the next few, uh, what I've done was poked holes with a fork all over and then make the cones. As you can see, it's much better. I'll show you how I've done that. Before, so before you make the cone, what you can do is just with the fork, lightly just all around. poke holes in the wrap and just make the cone as we made them before so I thought I'd just share this quick tip with you because they were just puffing up too much and I just want you to add another quick thing the ones that we are already made obviously I didn't poke them with the fork what you can do is just quickly go over it with the fork from the inside and don't poke it too hard because it'll make holes in the tortilla as you can see I've done that now and I'll show you how I fry these ones now as well I've got some tongues here what I'm going to do hold the tortilla in the tongues like this and just lower it in the oil I'm just going to fry one at a time I think it's much easier and you can control the frying process properly so slowly just turn it all the way around so it just starts to brown evenly as you can see now this is not puffing too much it will puff up a bit but not as much as it done before so just all the way around just keep on moving it so it goes nice and brown evenly all around the wrap as you can see First, when I put it up, it was just puffing up so much. And now it's made quite a lot of difference. So when this is cooked, I'll show you how it looks. This is cooked now totally, as you can see. Go all the way from inside. Just drain all the oil out. And I'm gonna put this on a plate, and then we're gonna fill these in. Guys, I've made all the tortillas. I've finally sliced some iceberg lettuce here. Here I've grated some cheese. This is cheddar cheese and I've got some red Leicester here I have some sour cream and jalapenos that I've chopped up and some spring onion that's finely chopped up as well and I've reheated the mince and now I'll show you how I'm going to fill these in so you just take one of the cones as you can see first of all what I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit of the lettuce underneath because there as you can see there's a tiny bit of a gap between them so I don't want anything to leak so that's just going to plug in as you can see there. And now, first of all, you add the mince. Just pack it in. And there, I'm going to add some cheese. And some lettuce. And some more mince. And I'm going to just, as with my back of the spoon I'm just gonna press that in on top of that a few jalapenos you can totally put anything you like guys I'm, I'm just showing you what I'm gonna put in here but you can have different salads different cheese anything you prefer and I've got some spring onion that goes on top a tiny bit more cheese and sour cream sour cream is optional if you would like to add some more different chili sauce or ketchup or mayonnaise you can and just to give a little decoration there's a few more spring onions on top i'm going to make the rest of them and then i'll show you how it is
Guys, we're not going to waste this. What I'm going to do is just break this up. As you can see, the nice and crispy. So I'm going to add all the toppings on this one as well. Add cheese. the spring onions on a few of the jalapenos i'm just gonna put this in the microwave until the cheese has melted then i'll show you what i'm going to do here you go guys i've just finished that off with some sour cream and some spring onions and lettuce and i also added a tiny bit of um chili sauce on that and here they are already and done the kids will really love this do do try them at home please share my channel with your family and friends and the love you gave me before hopefully you give me that love again now as well i have i'm been rambling in this video because it's the first video i've made after a long time so if there's any mistake in there sorry about that guys and i will get better hopefully you enjoyed this video take care of yourselves i love this